Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Feed the Beast, Legend of the Eyes. In the last episode, if we just teleport on over, we made uh, this, our brand new home, away from the Sky Village, down on the ground, right here. I am pretty happy with this, I am yet to move anything over, so maybe we'll get that done today. We also set up the solar powered system in the last episode, and we are indeed generating power, in fact we have 1.5 million FE. Very good start if you ask me, but today I want to, well, move the storage first of all, but also, if we teleport back home, there are a few things that I want to do. One, eat this bacon sandwich, because uh, I hadn't eaten that yet. <laughs> but I have one of these, and that is because today I am hoping, if we go into Ice Vendor, to go ahead and get the Blazing Geode, which means that we can, so yeah, we need to get the Blazing Geode, we can buy that from a tier 5 Cleric, so we should probably start there. Uh, if we go into my backpack, however, I do have this cage. And this cage can be sold to... Uh, not there. This. The doll eye can be bought from a wandering traders in return for a caged... In return for a caged frog. So... A wandering trader has not spawned yet, however... I do have a wandering trader spawn egg. And I think... Does this might count? Yes, uh, doll eye, cage, shift place, I don't know, there we go, doll eye, and there we go, we got our next eye, I think. Now we do have the cryptic eye next in this, so I guess the doll eye is not all that useful. The doll eye, uh, yep, it says here, the doll eye cannot be used to open the portal and only serves as a crafting ingredient. Good to know, but we got it. The cryptic eye is acquired by using the doll eye on an enchanting table while you have at least 30 levels of experience. Well, that should be fairly easy. I actually haven't made an enchantment table uh, yet, so that should be doable. Ah, it would be doable if I had more obsidian. So let's see, diamond pickaxe. I do have a diamond pickaxe. Do I know where there's obsidian? I do indeed know where there's obsidian, actually. Uh, well, I could take that, of course, but I'm not going to. I am going to jump down, I think. Yes. Yes, I am going to jump down. Uh, that's water. Yes. <laughs> Whee! And down we go. Sploosh, and I already see a skeleton. This place is not safe whatsoever, but I just need... Oh, we have exactly three pieces here, ladies and gentlemen. That is perfect. I see a guy down on my right there in the corner. I also see a creeper wandering about. Hopefully, they're not gonna get any closer than that. Uh, hopefully, none of this is gonna fall in lava. Oh boy. This place really is actually quite dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> a creeper could easily sneak up on you. I'm not happy about it. But anyways, that is our third piece of obsidian, which means I now need to head in uh, that th this di direction. Why is my oh yeah that that would be a problem. Uh, I'm I messed some stuff up. <laughs> I think it's in this direction ish. Yep. What did I say? What did I say? Anyway, I'm gonna find this waystone and I will be right back with you. And here we are. Good. Teleport home. Actually, that's wrong. We need to teleport to the Sky Village. And then use this right there. Perfect. Enchanting table. And since we do have 50 levels... Oh, hi. You're still around. So if I take the doll eye, right click... Oh! Oh, that's an animation! I didn't even see that. Oh, that's cool. Can I take it now? Oh, there we go. Awesome. Quest completed. Cryptic Eye. That is our second eye out of 12. <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. Uh, so that's wonderful. Not going to right click it. W to ponder. How to obtain the cryptic eye. Oh, that's cool. We already did that, though. So there we go. We now have two eyes. The cursed eye and the cryptic eye. Very, very awesome. And maybe... Okay, I, I was going to say maybe we'll get the evil eye as well, but that means we will have to fight a blaze guardian, blaze boss thingy. Yeah, that, that we're, we're going to see though. We're going to see because today I do want to go to the nether. And the reason for that is if we go over, take a look at the map. Um, right, the desert pyramid, that's not it. Hold on, let me fix my map issue. <laughs> I updated the pack, give me a second. All right, we are 
back and the map has indeed been returned to us uh, and now I am struggling to find the villagers that I traded with in the last episode which is um, pre pretty bad because I spent quite a few emeralds on them come on where are you? are you are you it are you the one you are most definitely not the one I, I can't find him ah there he is he has returned from the, the abyss right he has the blazing geode, but we need a blaze burner in order to get it from him, and that is why we need to go to the nether, ladies and gentlemen. We need to head in there with this empty blaze burner, find a blaze burner, or rather a blaze, and then head back home. <laughs> so that is our mission, however, am I ready for this? Am I ready for this? That is the question. I'm going to bring one enchanted golden apple and three normal golden apples with me, just as a precaution. Because that has fire resistance, I won't need that, I won't need that. I think I am ready. I don't think I have any fire resistance. I don't. So, yeah, we're, we're going in. We're, we're going in. Uh, no, we're not. I need building blocks. Dirt should suffice, except I don't want the amethyst, I want the dirt. There we go. All right. Now, for the third time, we're heading into the nether to find a fortress. And here we are yet again. So let's take a look at the map and our surroundings. We have a fortress all the way down here. And I do see the bridge right here as well, which is going to make traveling a whole lot easier. I don't see any that are any closer to us. I do see one over here, but that's further. So I need to go towards whatever this is. I assume top is north. So I assume we need to go west. If this is north, this is south. Right, so this is south, that's up here, so we need to go west, that way. Got it. And just before we go, home po portal. There we go, I can spell. <laughs> oh, we have our first encounter. We have our first encounter with this thing. Do I have enough arrows? I do, I have a full stack, okay, good. Just gotta kill you. There we go, okay, you're not so tough. You're not so tough at all, but we do have meat. Ooh. I haven't cooked this. I should have... I should have carried some gold on me. I should have made a gold helmet or something, but it's fine. We're going to power through this. Um, yes, the bridge is right here. So if I just keep going in this direction, we should be good. I just need to fight my way through the horde of another warth warped warthogs here. Unless I go for the rooftops. <laughs> that, that might work. Um, right. Okay, maybe it won't. They're also on the rooftops. They heard me. Ooh, hello. Oh, you're not that bad, actually. Now that I've faced the, the other ones, you're, you're not too bad. You're actually not too bad. Because these guys really make you go flying. Die. Thank you. Ah, okay, what am I currently eating? A bunch of stuff. I did see some blackstone something over here, I feel. Didn't I? I'm sure I saw some sort of structure around here somewhere. Yes. Oh. I mean, not? I'm sure I saw something. I, I guess I didn't. <laughs> Anyway, there's still a bit to go. I just realized I can actually add a fortress waypoint and then I can find it in the world. Oh, hello. I can find it in the world and then I can go for it. Sorry. Looked at you. My bad. But that, how did, I didn't pass this. Did I? 120. 100, maybe I went the completely wrong way. Wait. Wait a minute. Fortress, home port. Oh, I went the com. I went the wrong way. <laughs> I went the wrong way, ladies and gentlemen. That would explain it. That would explain it. Please die, because I'm very close to the edge. Right. Let's pretend that that didn't occur. That's the home portal. That is the beginning of the fortress. Quite literally. Um. Yeah. <laughs> right next doors. Right, so I can't actually find this specific opening that we have here. Y50... Yeah, Y59. So it's supposedly... 
underneath me, right? Oh wait, here it is. Here it is. Fortress has been found. I think, yes. Fortress has been found indeed. Alright, I'm gonna place a few torches just to mark my way out. And what we need to find now is going to be a blaze spawner. So I'm actually gonna put that away. And the blaze spawner we have located. That was fast. Alright, so we need a blaze to spawn. And then... Well, yeah, yeah. We need a blaze spawning. That's all we need right now, actually. In, in your own time. And there we go. Right click it with this. And we got a blaze burner. Perfect. We can go. <laughs> That's all we needed to do. Uh, I don't think I fancy looting anything else around here. I mean, there might be some good loot. Uh, can I resist? Can I resist? I mean, diamonds are a possibility. Hmm. Or not. I mean, this fortress doesn't seem to be, ow, that big. So I think we're just gonna head home. We got the thing that we came here for. Which is good. And then we can continue onwards with the quest. And here we are. Home sweet home. Well, home portal, sweet home portal. And then I can say in just a second, home sweet home. Perfect. Oh, that was you. Okay. That creeped me out a, a tiny bit. Just a little bit. Anyway, I'm going to be needing my emeralds. And then I think that's it. I think that's all I need for this trade. I hope that's all I need for this trade. Let's find out. Let's go to whatever this place is called. Villager, are you still at your workstation is the question. That would be a no. Oh, wait. Yes, you are. Hello. Uh, oh, wait. Yes. Yes, this is what we need to do. Blazing Geode has been acquired. That's the first step towards getting the evil eye. Now the next step is to find another fortress, which we of course already did. Use the geode on a blaze spawner. In the nether fortress, using the blazing geode on a blaze spawner will summon the blaze guardian, a powerful boss. Kill the blaze guardian, and then we will get the evil eye drops from the blaze guardian. So I guess we're gonna do that. Uh, because yes, <laughs> I guess that's next. Oh boy, okay. I gotta give me a second here. I need to prepare fully and then I will be right back. Do I have... I do not have any magma. Do I have... Ooh, strength two. Okay, I'm definitely bringing that. That's for sure. I actually have quite a few different potions here. Jump boost, speed, water breathing, regeneration. Uh, regeneration might actually be a good thing. Uh, instant health and slowness. Don't really need any of those. I do have... Again, the Enchanted Golden Apple, I will be eating that, I think. And I think that's it. I think that is it. I could save the normal Golden Apples, bring those. I think I'm set. I think I'm set for this. Um, the Enchanted Golden Apple is going to give me fire resistance. So that should be good. I could make some diamond armor, but our current armor is enchanted with some pretty decent enchantments, actually. So I think we're just going to go. Could potentially have a better weapon, also a better bow. Well, I do have a reinforced, a reinforced bow, actually, so that's not too bad. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. You know what? We'll be fine. We also do have 15 hearts in total instead of the normal 10. So, from that perspective, I think we will be pretty good. I, I think we'll be fine. Oh, task completed. Find another fortress. Yes, we, uh, we did that. <laughs> Alright, down here, and there's the spawner, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Eat up. Make sure the coast is clear. I will not drink this yet. I will pop this. It's 1 minute and 30 seconds. Gonna eat. The entire golden apple. I should have probably been closer. Use the geode. And the blaze guardian has been... Oh. Okay. This should be... Oh. Okay. Maybe I'm, ha may maybe I'm happy I actually took that entire golden apple. That's very good. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. That's actually bad. Potion regeneration. Normal golden apple. Okay, it's almost dead. It's almost dead. I just don't want it to burn and die. Whew. Okay, getting out of here before more blazes spawn. <laughs> okay, that actually got very close. That got much closer than I thought it would. You know, I was scared at first. Then I thought, ah, this is going to be easy. But then it put me right in my place. Um, and said, here you have, here you go, one heart. Right, we made it though. That fire resistance definitely helped. Um, and I do have more enchanted golden apples, and I have been told 
that you can actually make the enchanted golden apples in this? You can. That's beautiful. Love that. But there we go. We got the evil eye. And this just tells us how to obtain the evil eye. So that is our third. And and ender ender eye eye third eye for our eye collection. <laughs> and there we go. Mission completed. I can go ahead and put the golden apples in there. And yeah, we are we're good. Do I have more arrows just to fill up my arrow? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I had enchanted bows. Wait, hold on. I have enchanted bows. Unbreaking, flame, power, rise, power. Yeah, I, li I like my reinforced bow. Anyway, that is our third eye. Our second eye of the day. That's not too bad. Right. Well, we still have plenty of work to do, as you can tell. But for now, I think actually speaking of dungeon, I think it would be very nice to finish looting up that dungeon that we found, or the first dungeon that we found. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and craft up uh, two stacks of torches. Yep, and then I'm gonna go ahead, loot the dungeon, and I'll only be back if something interesting happens, which I expect there will since this area is filled with TNT, which I actually will break and take with me when I can, because, um, yeah. If I don't, if I just leave it, then creepers and... Ooh, instant damage potion. And creepers and things like that will just say hello very easily. Or a rogue pressure plate or something. Just like that. Just like that. Hello. Just like that. That could have caused a very, very bad chain reaction. Let's get rid of this instantaneously. Okay. Yep. Creeper spawner, right next to the TNT. Very funny. Very hilarious. But yes, I will be back if something interesting happens. <laughs> oh dear. Good start so far. Good start so far. I actually think I will take these pistons. Because if I ever do need pistons, which I assume I will for probably some machine recipes and whatnot, having them is... Well, that would be pretty nice. Might as well take the things that I can find that will save me time later on. Ooh. Efficiency. Very good efficiency, actually. Um, Curse of Vanishing. If I do die, I do lose it. But, I mean, it's still an upgrade. A pretty decent upgrade, in fact. So I think I'll take it. What do we have here? Arrows, but... Ooh. Okay, this place is cool. This place is cool, but also dangerous. <laughs> oh, like I said, be gone. Definitely gonna need to utilize my backpack. I, I said that I would be back if anything interesting happens. This is not particularly interesting, I don't think, but still featuring it. Um, so yeah, that, that's usually what happens. Ooh, that's a very good app, uh, axe right there. Wow, not too bad whatsoever. I mean, it doesn't have, uh, not mending. Does it have mending? Oh, yeah, it doesn't have mending, and it also doesn't have silk touch. Like this one does, but it's still pretty decent. Ooh, three diamonds, and hoppers, and mud, and not that great of a sort. <laughs> I'll leave that be. And I think, I think that this might be the end of this, uh, an explosion definitely didn't happen here, by the way. I did loot this. I've looted everything in that direction, I'm pretty sure. So I think I might have looted everything in the swing. Because this is where the TNT was. Yeah. Hold on, this can't be it. Oh, wait a minute. I do have this section over here that I blocked off. This wing right here, which I skipped because I thought that the other wing, the place we were just at, would eventually wrap around, but it didn't. Oh, that almost got past me. Oh, hello. This is an interesting little spot. Any traps? I mean, it doesn't particularly look like it. Well, everything, I'll take that. That could become very relevant. Cooked fish. Eh, I think I'm pretty good when it comes to food. But it does go down even further, this. Huh. Oh, and behind. Oh, and two witches. Okay. Not good. I okay. I wanted to get a strike in before they did the poison. 
But that didn't happen. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Ow. Don't like witches. Ooh. Diamond ore. Hello. Trying to hide behind this black stone block uh, button. <laughs> Let's look at that. Add. Ooh, phantom membrane. That's not too bad either. Oh. Okay, now this. Oh. Fella falling. I don't even know what that is. Protection 5. Wow. That's some upgrade right there. I will not hesitate to put that on. Very, very nice. Oh. Oh, okay. 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 Please. Be. Gone. Nuh. 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 There we go. Oh, more diamond boots. Feather Falling 2, not as OP when it comes to the uh, Feather Falling part, but it does have Death Strider, Unbreaking, and Projectile Protection. I mean, I won't say no to that. <laughs> Definitely will not say no to that, and my inventory is getting full again. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that this is the cave at long last fully explored. I think I have covered everything in here. I hope anyway. I mean, these are just caves that are around me, I'm pretty sure. I've seen caves connect to these things. Um, so I think I'm set to leave this place. I might come back for other resources if there's anything that I need. Like this, like amethyst blocks and things like that. But for now, I think that this is pretty good. And my inventory is getting quite full, so it is probably about time. Oh, look at that. That's a sneaky one. That's a proper sneaky one right there. Right, well, with that, let's teleport back home. Well, actually, to the Sky Village, because I don't have any storage <laughs> right now at my home at, at the moment. I mean, this, if you ask me, is a pretty good loot haul. I'm pretty happy with that. And I think, speaking about loot, that it... My pickaxe. My pickaxe. My pickaxe. Because vanishing. There we go. <laughs> speaking about loot, I think that it's about time that we bring this... Uh, all of this loot to our house. Um, so, some of these chests, right, one of these chests are not actually full. And I think I should have some pretty... Okay, that is, I thought it just broke and didn't didn't give me what, I, what is rightfully mine. But anyway, if we go ahead and take this giant chest and surround it with gold, I think we'll have enough resources to probably upgrade most of these. Um, to to gold. Actually, I have a ton of raw gold in here, so I might just set that to smelt. However, not with sticks. Uh, coal is the proper way of doing things. So I think what is going to be the easiest is to get some some sort of block. So dirt is going to be just fine. I'm gonna block this off, so items can't fly everywhere. So if we block this off, actually, it's going to be easier. So block that off completely. You, sir, are going to have to move. And then with my backpack, I'm going to keep that there and keep this here and keep that there. Just to keep my organized inventory sorted sort a little bit. Please get out of the way, sir. And I'm going to break this. Because then I can break it, put everything in my backpack. Like this. And I, I took the gold. I took what I specifically didn't want to. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got everything, and I'll actually take some more things, and I can go ahead and make another golden chest. Beautiful. All right, let's teleport home, and let's decide where we're actually going to be placing this. Because I don't know. This is the entrance. It would be very nice to have it, like, on one of these 3x3s, three so maybe we... I, I feel like I want these two windows to be open at least. Uh... I don't know where I want to place this to be complete. I could have the chest in the floor, you know. I could actually have the chest in the floor. Don't know how cool that would look. Probably not very. And I don't know if there's an easy way of moving chests with items to a different location. Because I really don't fancy doing it all over again. But yeah, I feel like keeping these windows... I, I guess I could have it on this window. You know what? Let's try and place them right there and see how that looks from the outside. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that. Now I just need to go ahead and move everything over again. There we go. That is one and a half iron chest in 
one entire gold chest. I don't know. Ah, the cave down there. I was about to ask where that zombie was coming from. Right, I'm just gonna keep doing this until everything has been moved over and then I will be right back with you yet again. This is going to take a little bit of, a bit of time though. <laughs> Actually, I might steal this. I might steal this so that I can place that back home and have it up and going instantaneously. Hmm, slight issue. I uh, overloaded my inventory, so I need to go home quickly and not take five minutes doing this because then things will despawn. <laughs> Alright, so empty inventory. I think that should be good enough. Yes. Teleport back home and then pick stuff up. Okay, good. Phew. Maybe breaking them isn't the best idea. I had entire blocks of gold, but you look at that. I didn't even register I had that. Where's my crafty table? Place that over here. Get another golden chest in. Yeah, I, did, I didn't even need to smelt those high gold ingots then. Oh well. <laughs> For anyone wondering, by the way, I've been breaking these chests with my pickaxe. And it's taken ages, however... Yeah. And access the right tool. And we can place the inventory sorter right there, and crafty terminal right there. Perfect. Let's leave the rest of the stuff. Which is actually going to make it a lot easier having this in, because now I can just dump it in here, and it can decide where it wants to place things. I wonder, does it actually access the diagonal chests? Let, let's, uh, I, I, hmm, I haven't actually thought about that. It does. Confirmed. <laughs> and here we go. Final chest to be moved at long last. I'm also, of course, going to bring the enchantment table. Uh, I actually already have a bed over there, so I don't need to demolish that. Don't have a shovel on me, so cleaning this up the stood is going to take a little bit. There we go. Definitely, of course, are going to bring our eyes. These are going to go somewhere special. Well, they'll have to. Uh, yes, I also need to transfer the food, but I can always do that. I'm gonna place... Hmm, where am I gonna place these? Central location. Central location. There's nothing really central about this, because it's all the double doors and... Uh, you know what? Right here. This is going to be our eye container. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that sounds a bit odd. Anyway, final loot chest right there, and final loot to be added. Just like so. Perfect! Items has been transported. How much power have we saved up during uh, this endeavor? 2.6 million FE. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Ladies and gentlemen, I think in the next episode, I, I definitely want to try and get some of these that look easier to get maybe the like the eagler one the mushroom island one because we have the nature's compass which reminds me i did add the nature's compass and my flute uh nature compass and my flute there we go my horse summoning flute and if we go into nature's compass snowy plains 5222 blocks away that, on a horseback, that is actually not going to be too bad. What about mushroom? Mushroom fields. That's even closer. So we might go for one of these in the next episode. But I really want to get into, very soon, this right here. I can never rem remember the name. Industrial Revolu Revolution. Uh, because we have pulverizer. Yeah, I think we could do some ore duplication here with this setup. I'm hoping anyway. If we go here... Okay, it doesn't actually show up up here, but I am assuming that we could do some ore duplication here, which would be really cool. Uh, and in general, we want to get into this mod for sure. Automated ore mining. Yes, definitely. So that is what is going to come. But first, I have something that I want to see because someone told me that in these floating villages, there's a target block underneath. And I have been told to try and shoot it. <laughs> I don't know if what's going to happen is good or bad, but I kind of want to do it, well, I guess I should loot it first just in case it all explodes. I literally have no idea what's going to happen. I'm 
wondering whether or not I should take this one or this one. Uh, mm, let's try and go over there. Let's take a quick look. I think I, I can't zoom in further, but I think I do see it up there, right in the center. I really don't know what will happen if I tr if I if I do hit it, if I shoot it and hit it. I mean, it's right above this village. Yep, right there. I would need some blocks to get up there. I mean, I I could of course dig it all up and look at the rest of it, but that that you guys will probably call me a chicken for that. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get some pillaring blocks and we're gonna do this. All right, and I am going to patch up this hole before any disasters happen. Right, pillar up, maybe a stack, half a stack or so. Shoot it, and um, I mean I hope it's good. What's going to happen? I wouldn't mind diamond blocks being revealed or something. Right, gonna pillar up. I don't have a water bucket, so and I don't have a shovel, but I'm just gonna do this anyway. Don't care. Just gonna do it. All right, half a stack. Definitely not close enough, I don't think. Yeah, just missed it. <laughs> if I fall, I am dead. And I have someone to blame for it at the very least. But here we go. Maybe now? I think it's not... Ooh. Okay. A little bit further down. It almost hit. That one's gonna hit. It didn't hit. That hit. Oh. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. A water elevator to to basically swim up to the sky village. Well then. <laughs> the more you know. Um, learn something new every day, huh? And yeah. Right, I have been struggling to get up and down from my current sky village when I could have just done that. You know, I have oh, I have expected the the village to blow up, <laughs> but uh, wow, thank you to you that told me to do that. <laughs> Uh, that 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 was very interesting. Not what I expected. Well, now that it's here, I might as well swim up and see what this one is all about. If there's any th good loot, maybe some diamonds or something. Oh, that looks weird with the shaders. That looks very weird with the shaders. Look at that. No, yeah, that's that's weird. Right, we're in there. Well, I'm pretty sure, or something along those lines. Hey, fellas. Pretty sure you didn't expect me, now, did you? Hello. Oh, plenty of villagers here actually with some jobs that might become relevant. Especially this cartographer. Right, well, since I'm here, I'll have a look around, see what I can find. And arrows, yep, that. Listen, guys, I, I can... Oh, I can take everything that I need? Oh, thank you. See, they're, they're supporting my quest of getting all the eyes of Ender. Right, I... We'll also take the emeralds that I can find. <laughs> Gonna search every single house. Yes. Because yes. Wait, where's the entrance to... Where's the entrance to this house? How did that... Did it just... All of a sudden appear or something. Right, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to steal your bed because I don't want my cartog cartographer cleric to get eaten alive by a zombie <laughs> during the night. Oh, wow. Now this is good stuff. I mean, a chair to look at the view. I mean, that's perfect for to see looking at the sunset and everything. Gotta love that. Now, I could have, I could have used those three obsidian earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Way earlier today. Suppose better late than never. Oh, this is a cool room. Well, island platform thing. That's very cool. <laughs> I love that. All right, I think that is everything looted. Well, chests at least. Haven't picked up all the hay bales and whatnot. Don't really fancy doing that at the moment. So I think with that, uh, well, I gotta, I gotta swim down, I suppose. Oh, I could almost not see that the <laughs> that there was a hole there. Right, this is gonna be 
Dangerous. Alright, there we go. Ah, down on the ground again. Very nice. Very, very cool feature, that. And there we go, a loot stored. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to call this an episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode where, again, I want to do all processing and more, of course, enderize. So interesting things to come. But yes, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time, goodbye. Stop.